So you may join later. Um, I think we might as well proceed. I'll start with the note from Greg. That at this point, I still intend to intend, attend the meeting tomorrow, but I write it to you at 11.30 from the emergency room at Parker oh, Hospital, oh, no. where my mom has just transferred from Wyndham Hospital. She was not feeling very good earlier, and that was developed into still unexplained abdominal pain. I hope you understand if I need to postpone my visit. He got a call from his office this morning that indeed he will not be here. Um, did I call him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't So the first question um, Would you prefer to postpone to our next regular business meeting, which is September? Or should we try and set up a special meeting sometime during the summer with just a session with Greg? If if we can pick a date when he can absolutely be there. <laughs> well, well, yeah, he he can be here until, no. <laughs> right, that's my function's absolutely there can be. I think September. Um, I think, then I think it was more, more lead time in case I'm great. Okay. Um, we have an agenda. We ought to generally stick to it, I guess. Okay. Um, are there any? Errors or omissions in the minutes. Hearing none. Okay. We'll accept the minutes as presented. Second. Item C is obviously mm -hmm. postponed till September, hopefully, if not another date. I have a comment on that. Do we have a list of questions we want to address to him? Between now and September, we certainly I should. I, should yeah. too. I mean, we should be prepared. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, we agree. Um, question becomes how can we build a cap? The next meeting is September. Which hopefully Greg will be at. Um, is it sufficient to say do your homework and prepare your own list, or do we need a list from the quote committee? Commission? Well, we could email them somehow. I mean, we could always communicate. Would that be considered yeah. committee business? Or yes. Yes. Be... yes. That's a continuing mm -hmm. frustration for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we just do it today. Why is it? Why is it um, frustration? Why is it? Yeah. We can't. Yeah, we can't do committee business via email if it's not a meeting. Yeah. Oh, no. it's not a meeting. I thought we could. No. In other words, in other words, you can't email everybody. CC everybody. Right. Just, just send it to John. To John. Just, just, just send it to John. Do. That's all. Just send it to John. I thought we could send it to him as a committee chair, and then he keeps it. But we couldn't like go and back and forth talking to each other. No, but we can just send them to you. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you'll, do but you that, can't share them until there's a meeting. But we can do that. We can send them to you. We can't hold on. Right. We can't do any of that stuff. No chit chatting back and forth on the email. But we can send them. John's going to make up the list from submissions from yeah. members, and I probably could legitimately send out the compiled list prior to the September meeting. As part of the agenda. Uh, just part of the agenda. agenda. As part of the agenda. As part of the agenda. May I have your email, John? Your email. John J O H N. Yep. Dot 
Reason R I E S E N at charter.net. Thank you. Okay. Uh... <laughs> This is a just for your information. Um, I got a letter uh, please read this entire email. We request correspondence by email. Calls will not be returned. This request submitted by Frank Curry on whatever uh, formal response is required within four days. And then it goes on about freedom of information. Um, I'm convinced it's spam. I ran it past Jessica. She also agreed it's spam. I sent those along to uh, Sarah. Yeah, um, Sarah, Sarah Ann. Yeah. And she reached out to him and let him know the formal process to request those. Last sentence again. She's going to reach out to this gentleman to let them know the process to request the a FOIA okay. application. So that should be managed by Sarah Ann from the town clerk office. Okay. Right. My only concern was in case any of you had thought. I got six of them. Yeah, probably is. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I mean, it's a FOIA buddy. Yeah, so, it's, I deleted it. Yeah. So, yeah. so she did connect with the gentleman, but okay. yeah. Okay. We're ready for reports, I think. Yes. Why don't we just go ahead, Jessica? I'll let you lead off and maybe. Which one? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jessica St. Louis is first on the agenda. Can you introduce her? Sure. I, I am very um, proud and happy to introduce Jessica St. Louis, who is the new um, department head for and director of human services. Hi, everybody. Hi. See you week three, the beginning of week three. Does everybody mind taking a minute to break and just let me know your names and right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mary. Mary. Okay. John. I met you. Um, yes. But remind me of your name. Joanne. Joanne. Oh. Thank you. Sorry, Joanne. Let's just not say it. Okay. Martina Wharton. Laura Austin. Sylvia so Dolomite. Okay. Jude. Um, Commission okay. Wannabe. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, thank you very much. It's been an interesting two weeks. I think we're our third, so I haven't had much to report now on. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just kind of getting just with a feel for everything. So hopefully the next time we meet, I can report out more. Welcome. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Welcome. It's a great place to work. It is a great place to work. Okay. Jessica, yeah. number two. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to do A. How are we going to do this? We will. Uh, we yeah. will. Well, I know. Jessica S, Jessica T, something like that. Yeah. Um, so I just have a, a couple things to talk about. Uh, right now, we are currently mostly fully staffed. We still do have um, one person out on leave, but we do have Avery who is here um, temporarily filling in for us and helping out a, a good bit. I know you guys have seen him around here quite a bit more. So with that said, we have some fun things in the work for the end of June. There are some programs coming up in July and August where we're actually able to focus a little bit more on you know, bringing, I, I, I think, some of the fun back to some of the events that we've had. Um, we are looking to in increase our number of programming. Um, hopefully not redundant programming, but some different things as well to bring more people in. We are seeing an increase in numbers of people attending lunch, and as well as doing the takeouts, we have increased the number of the Maple Road cafes that we are offering on Fridays um, for the month of June. It is every other Friday, 
and we're looking to hopefully um, do every Friday in July, except for July 5th, um, because Kristen won't have time to prepare with the holiday there. So that's that's good. Um, there's a pop-up today. So on your way out, if you're interested, I think she's got chicken noodle soup and some cookies and stuff. So if you're interested today, feel free to, to jump in and do that. So that's that's what I have for you. It does cool. smell very good. Yeah. <laughs> it always smells so good. Wonderful. Yes, Aiden and Dave oh, are both yeah. just wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aiden is so good to everyone. Yes, he was wonderful for the night of Yeah. And yeah. He's just very thoughtful and yeah. I just want to compliment him. Yeah. I think everyone yeah. loves him. Thank you. I will definitely Great. have that along with him. Yeah. He's he's very good. Very good. They're both very good, very conscientious. Oh, yeah. oh. Hi, Dave. Yeah, um just to keep you up. Uh, Fred and I, Dad, could not be here today. He had a family emergency. So we've decided it would be best to postpone that until September, um, rather than try and form a special meeting during the summer to meet with him. They're going back in session, too. Oh, they got a summer session. Yeah. Are you able to hear us, David? Okay, okay. thank you. Um, I'm going to skip back to a thought. Um, would it be appropriate if we have the secretary send a thinking of you note to Craig and wishing him the best with his mother? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, okay. Are you willing to do that, Laura? I'd love to. Okay, housing representative. We'll want to tell him about the questions. Oh, yeah, tell David. Uh, what we had decided is we should have a list of questions for Craig had that when we meet with him, hopefully in September. Um, we have freedom of information problems. You're doing too much business, but we've decided that it would be all right if everybody compiled some questions and sent them to me. And prior to the September meeting, I can send them back out to the committee so you have a list of the questions. Okay, housing representatives. Uh, well, you're first on the list. Okay. Uh, we had horse racing. It went over really well. We had a really, really great time. And Sun has started a breakfast on Fridays, Friday mornings at nine o'clock. And the uh, our boss over there is the one that's doing the cooking. She's in charge of this. And, she did a wonderful job. We had, a, we had a really good time. We're looking forward. Everybody's looking forward to a free breakfast every, every <laughs> Friday at 9 o'clock. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sean and Dave had a good Yeah, we're doing good over here. Anybody interested, just you know, take, take a drive through uh, the mobile home park on Route 44. Take a drive through and see. I mean, we're getting bigger and bigger. And newer and newer. Newer and newer, yeah, yeah. Is this free breakfast open to everyone? The free breakfast is open to everyone oh. who lives there. Oh. <laughs> That's what you mean. I, 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 I knew what you were there. Uh, that's it. Okay, brings us to Mary. Yeah, we also do breakfast. Uh, Monday and Friday morning sure. from um, 8 o'clock to 9 30. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's only for the residents that right. live there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it, it's really good. So we're glad that Irene does that for us. Okay. Also, I have the grounds committee is um, in the process of planting flowers, you know, around the building, like the front entrance when you come up. Um, looks really good in other parts of the building on the other side of the building and around the pavilion. So they've been working on that. 
Um, the welcome committee, uh, one resident um, had to step down. So they're asking somebody to volunteer. And I just found out the other day somebody did volunteer. So now they have two people on that committee to welcome new members, I mean, new residents to the building, uh, give them an update what's going on. Um, any, you know, any birthdays coming up, you know, send out a birthday card, you know, thinking of your card, whatever. So that's been really good too. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, um, we also have, and I'm not going to go into a long story about this. We have a new company uh, for the for our meals program. Unfortunately, there's been some snags with that. Um, I'm not too happy with some of the meals that I've received, so I let them know that. So they're working on it to make it better. So hopefully, um, I know they hired uh, a new cook. I think they got a couple cooks now, but they hired another cook. And um, so far, he's been really good. So hopefully that will continue for a while. Um, there's been some issues about the boilers and the cottages. They've been working on that. Uh, the farmer's market, you all know about that. You know, we have that too. Um, so that's been going really well. We've had some issues in the laundry room, which we're really frustrated about. Um, but they're going to increase at some point uh, from a dollar to a dollar fifty. So um, we expect that to happen sometime in the future. Um, the library committee, um, we have a, I don't know how many photos we have up there of past residents and some now. So we formed a committee and I'm on that to address, um, we want to sort them all out um, of different events that we've had and categorize them because right now they're just sitting in a box. So we're gonna go through all those and um, hopefully um, make it more presentable to people. I mean, I know who those people are because I've been there a long time, but people that are there now, of course they have no idea. But I just want to sort them out so they know, you know, what's what. Um, the administrator, Susan, asked people not to feed the birds or put out food because we've been, some people said they've been bear sighting. We've had a bobcat walking around. Um, so don't encourage other animals to come near the building. Um, this is really great. We have a lady there by the name of Jane who just turned 100 last week. So we had a party for her. She's got four sons and a family came. Um, so it was really, really nice to celebrate that day with her. Um, and we have um, two more residents who are 99. They just had a birthday. And the next year, God willing, they're still with us. We're going to do the same thing for them. So hopefully, we'll see what happens. Um, we've had blood pressure clinic is coming June 24th. Technology support, John and Paul from the Mansfield Public Library um, is coming uh, the 14th, 15th, 28th, and 29th. That's if anybody has any issues with their computer, laptop, whatever they have. Um, I know people are still working on um, genealogy, you know, family tree. So that's been really good for them to uh, get that, get that, keep that going. Um, we have UConn nutrition student coming in July, uh, excuse me, June 13th, which is this week, uh, for easy summer tropical drinks. So anybody wants to come down? Not alcohol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'll go home and add my own. <laughs> um, so they're coming this week to do that with us. Um, some of this stuff you already know about because we do the same thing. So I think I am good. Yep, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Questions for Mary? Okay. Uh, so then we get into the old business and um, new business and the first item of old business are intertwined. <clears throat> Last meeting, we had decided that we would prepare a PowerPoint for the presentation to the town council and that it should be uh, in essence, be the report from the uh, Senior Center Subcommittee plus additional little bit on uh, transportation 
and housing. I'd like to get a subcommittee together to put a draft PowerPoint together that we could show the COA at the September meeting and be able to discuss it and change it at that point rather than start from scratch in September with only one month to go before we have to go live. So would that be a special meeting? Uh, I'm proposing it just be a subcommittee. Okay. John, did you get a reply from Ryan about putting off the presentation to November? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, well, I heard that in essence, they were okay with it. They wanted to know just which date would work out, but I haven't gotten... I haven't read <laughs> uh, the reply requesting a, a date. Okay. Uh, let's see, they have one the same date that we would meet in September and then one a little later. Is that correct? I got so the impression mean, they had two dates in right? September. Well, yeah. they, they meet Tuesdays? They meet on Tuesdays. Yeah. No, they, meet, they meet Tuesdays. They, they meet on Tuesdays. That's it. Second week. First and second, second, and third, second, and second and fourth. It's the second and fourth. Second and fourth with Tuesday. If we have a choice, does make any difference. Whichever one you pick. Later is later is always better. <laughs> okay, so if we have a choice, November fourth would be best for us. But we would fourth we get yeah, the fourth Tuesday. Fourth Tuesday. Yeah. Yes. If the week of Thanksgiving, if that's the week after, okay, maybe um, it's November 26th. We're talking about November what? Uh, the fourth Tuesday of November. I think the 28th is Thanksgiving, so we'll, mm -hmm. yeah, so it is Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's 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 first. Yeah. Yeah. Two oh, days oh, oh, Thanksgiving. So, so we will take either so. Tuesday in November, either the second or fourth, mm -hmm. but we would prefer the fourth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Back to the subcommittee. Um, do I have some volunteers as the we would like to put that together? You want to work straight up on the home? Yeah, I'll, I'll be on there. Yeah, okay. yeah. Will and I can do housing? Well, I uh, will and I have <laughs> Okay, I got Martina and Will. And it's got him as well. Sylvie. Anyone else? Not being on it doesn't exempt you from being your proxy to make a presentation. We have other issues like transportation and um, the senior center and all the information you've gathered about that. So, more volunteers. <laughs> Just us chickens. <laughs> Okay, I have next Monday at the same time available. Can you make that? I believe so. I'll have to let you know if that's a problem. Okay. 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 So as of the, the moment, the subcommittee will meet June 17th at 9.30. Um, are we assuming it's here? Yeah, we here. should have the memorial room available at that. Okay. Yeah. So we only need a small room. Yeah. yeah. So do you have that as a re official request for a room? 
I have that as an official request. <laughs> if it's not the if it's not the memorial room, I, I'm pretty sure the group room is about We're flexible. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. Um, any comments on the senior housing in Mansfield? Uh, no, not really. Yet. Well, the only thing we did is uh, the housing authority is uh, looking to uh, try to build behind. Uh, Alinco Estates, they own they own land back there, which abuts Silmarine Square. And right now, they're sharing their storage system with Silmarine Square, and what they they needed money to uh, actually get an architect or get some consultants in there and find out exactly what they can do with the amount of land they got back there, and they needed money to do this. And the committee, the, um, the Affordable Housing Committee has a um, bunch of OPA money available that uh, we don't think we're going to be used. So we voted to uh, have, give them the OPA money to um, go ahead and uh, check that out. It's I know it's not affordable housing as we we are exactly Section 8 housing, uh, which we it's, it's everybody, but. We figure we got to support something, so we decided that we're going to go ahead and let them have the money. But then, of course, that's contingent on whether the town council gives it. <clears throat> so, but we did recommend that they, they, they get the offer money from the town council. Well, where is this? Be, behind Hollingco State. Hollingco State. Where Next is to Silverman Square on Hollingco uh, oh, Road. Yeah. Okay. And seniors can't live there. Huh? And seniors oh yeah, seniors can. I mean, seniors can live there. It's just that it's it's they're they're fighting hard for spots to go to. You know, uh, universities. Universities. <laughs> yeah, they. You know, the most of them over at Hanlon State are professors. You know, uh, you know their uh, families and stuff like that. You know, what are they studying for? Student profession, it's like I know what's so, you know, it's going to be hard for anybody to get in here, but we decided to give them, give them a strategy. Currently, there is no one who is um, willing to do senior housing. No, nobody, nobody is willing mixed to do high density, housing. mixed use, high density. Um, so the, the, the town is taking away the fee and loop from people so that you can no longer say, okay, I'm going to pay you know, half of a million dollars, but you know that you're not going to, it's not going to be a loss because you're going to pile it in with students who pay $1,250 per person to live in an apartment, which we cannot do. So it's it's still, still a struggle to try and get senior housing here. So the P and Lou is going to uh, 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 no more. It's no. gone. Yeah. yeah. We're happy. Bad word, bad word. <laughs> <laughs> when you say no one is willing to do age restricted housing, who, who are you referring to? The town doesn't no, 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 the town no. wants the builders don't want the to. Builders. There's there's no there's no profit. There's no one there's no incentive for them to uh, build age restricted housing. When they when they can get students to pay what they will pay, you know, they're not gonna offer it to us. You know, they had the deed restricted for 40 years and you know, or 30 years, and you know, they don't care. You know, they're all from shareholders actually. And we've been trying, but Okay. History. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, moving right along. At the last meeting, we decided to that both candidates to fill the one slot we have were more than adequate, and we would leave it to the committee on committees to decide. Uh, Jessica. 
you've been in contact with them. You want to bring us up to speed? I did speak with Sarah Ann and um, from the front of the office, and she said that basically at this point, the commission needs to either put forth a proposal for one candidate or both candidates, and then the committee on committees can make that decision from there. Or the commission can make a recommendation just for one candidate if they should choose to do so. But there cannot be um, a secret ballot because it has to be um, everybody who voted for everybody. Every, it has to be written down in the minutes who voted for who. So, so if there is a vote, if there is a, a decision or a discussion to be made today, mm -hmm. um, it has to be done here in yeah. open meeting and it will be under voting. So. so a proposal from us for both people is one of the things they will accept, right? They would accept a proposal for both and then they can make that decision. Can, we, can I make a motion? I make a motion that we accept it. All those in favor, raise their hand. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, now, do you want to take care of communicating with the committee on committees since you've already started? I can, I can definitely put forth that recommendation to Sarah. Yep. Can you spell your last guess. name? It's L O V D A L. I wanted to put an E in there. Everybody does. And they want to say da. Love <laughs> da. That sounds Scandinavian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And it probably would be wise to indicate that both candidates were acceptable, mm -hmm. or even more than acceptable. Um, and we're an aging group. <laughs> we turn over every once in a while. <laughs> you may be aging, John, but I'm not. I say turn over. So there's always the possibility that we hold that person in abeyance quickly and consider them for the next time on the television. Um, as soon as the committee on committees makes a decision, if either the committee or Jessica Bunn would uh, <laughs> let me know, I, I, I'm I'm just going to I'm going to send her over. Okay. Yeah, the committee on committee will send her a letter that she's accepted. Okay. So you have to send it to the uh, town council as well. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Have, so they haven't interviewed you yet. No, he's not. No, they haven't. Okay. So that's the first. Oh, she didn't have an interview. No, she <laughs> has the interview. They can't hold it. Didn't they? they never. They never. I had. They never had a meeting in June. I may. I may. Oh, I thought I thought she I thought she already I thought she already had a had no, a meeting. No, no, had, no. Okay, I, I, uh, I don't know what so, yeah, danger is. So they're waiting, they were waiting for the recommendation from the commission. Oh, they're waiting for our recommendation Correct. before they have a meeting. Correct. So we okay. wait for the letter. Yeah, letter come to Okay. A uh, question, Jessica One. Do you prefer numerals or letters? <laughs> uh, oh. so, is, well, I think if it's Jessica A, then it would be that that would be sufficient because it's my middle initial. Ah. We like number one and two. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> Either either is fine. No. Okay, no, you can call me whatever you want, and I'll call me late to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm usually making dinner, so. <laughs> I think that takes us to the end of the agenda. Any comments or whatever? We can take up official business if it's not on the agenda, but yes. 
All this talk about aging reminds me of one of my favorite sayings. Aging is a matter of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. <laughs> so there. <laughs> Age is just a new one. You have a couple of quick things. <clears throat> one is I read where United Methodist was merging with Masonic Care, and I think they have to work out the details, but I was in touch with them just in terms of since they own property and we're currently expanding water and septic, what uh, other issues uh, could we help them resolve that might make them interested in trying to do what the cost proposing. the cost. Because when they proposed it, I believe the cost to seniors, and that's why they didn't build it. We did seniors in this town did not have the um, the, the, amount. The, the amount of the fund the amount of money that they needed to live there. Yeah, their market rate is pretty low. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was that was one of their problems. I also reached out to both Courtney and Murphy. Um, Courtney through the town hall, just expressing the uh, concerns about uh, representation of senior middle income folks that we did a little bit to address low income. Clearly, it wasn't a high income issue. Um, got sort of a standardized comment back from them. Uh, I reached out to AARP, Nora Duncan, um, who was working with Haddad, uh, Flexer, and uh, Lamont in terms of. Uh, improving nursing home and home-based care qualities. I did go to the town council meeting on small city grants, hoping that I would have an opportunity to request grants for a feasibility study on location um, and uh, perhaps architecture involvement, but was pretty quickly shut down with the fact that they had already really made up their mind that they were going to dedicate the grant money towards maintenance of rights building. Mm -hmm. Did I object to that, which obviously I didn't. <laughs> so I went into that. Um, I'm sorry, maintenance of what? A right And I <clears throat> wasn't aware until the town budget meeting that since Theo Van Zelm is no longer the head of economic development, and I think whoever takes her place would probably be the appropriate person to begin to look at whether we could get transition housing from oh, independent to assisted to skilled nursing. To have a facility like that regionally within this area. Um, so we'll see see who Juniper Hill Village is quasi transition housing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's the only yeah. game in town. That's yeah. the problem. Mm -hmm. One of the problems. I know there's a, a lot of acreage available. In fact, that's all that seems to be available. And I know the Army Corps of Engineers was actually looking for input on their proposal to um, expand that area and there is property for sale in that area so i have reached out to um the woodbury senior center to see what kind of funding they had was it all town uh, purchase property or did they have grants or what sort of uh, information they had um so that's about it in terms of um, other stuff yeah. thank you for doing that mm -hmm. well done <laughs> other comments um, you can submit, or if you want something on the agenda, just send me an email and I can put it on the agenda, and then we can talk about it. Um, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Can I, can I just make one comment about that, that the agenda needs to be submitted by the Thursday prior to the meeting. So if there are items that want to be included on the agenda, you should probably get it to John at least a week in advance. Sorry. Am, am I allowed to send out an email reminding people to do that on the mission? <laughs> no, really, point of order. Am I allowed to do that? That's a good question. I mean, if you happen to push send. Right. We need time. Nobody can really, can really fault you for it. Yeah. I think I think John I think John can send out an email asking for agenda items. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. You need an email, or you just well send agenda items to me if you have them. I think well, a reminder. Some very helpful. A reminder. Yeah. Because I yeah, we need to be in compliance. So we'll. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to for the age of our member who might forget by then. Forget what? Did you hear that? They raised the motion. Tony Bernini seconded. Yes, we do. Who was our second? I was talking. Martinez. I have a running joke of everybody up here thinks I'm the kid on the block. Well, coming next Tuesday next week, technically I'm going to be a senior. I will be 65. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, Mary. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I get all kinds of stuff in the mail. Don't judge me. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the AG. Unbelievable. Motion passes. We are. Of course, it's a, we have no right. 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 right.